Good morning guys, today is the 16th of January and it's a Saturday morning. I hope everyone had a good night last night and a Friday night, I hope you did something. I was here doing some revision, completing my physiology and anatomy course and answering some emails. It's about 9 o'clock right now and I've got a few things to do today. I need to go to the bank and put some money in from the work I did at the gym. I am going to get a massage at four o'clock by this woman called Sarah. She trains at my gym and she said she told me to come down to her massage parlor anytime and just get a free massage. So I'm looking forward to that. Then I'm going to go to the gym later and try some legs. Catch up with my mate Stu. I haven't seen him for a while ever since he gave up ownership over Revolutions because he used to own the place. I haven't seen him and we used to train together quite a lot, but I've been in America for two weeks and I haven't been back long. So we're going to go train legs together. That should be good. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Currently learning about if I can find it again. There it is. I'm currently learning about the energy system, and then once I've done this, I can go into the rest of the books that I got right here. I've read through all of the level two books, um, and now I'm on the level three stuff, and then I can start answering all the questions. There's a lot to read, but I'm just really excited to fill in my mind with all the knowledge that I can. I don't want to not be able to answer certain people's questions about certain things about the body. Like I want to know absolutely everything. So. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm currently wearing the most comfortable things that I've ever been bought in my life for Christmas. As one of my presents, I was bought these Calvin Klein pajama bombs. And if you don't own a pair of pajama bombs, then you seriously need to get a pair because they are the best thing that I've ever put on my body. They're good to sleep in, and especially it is so brisk today. Like it is so cold, and there's not even a lot to them. Like they're not even like thick. They're just really comfy. I'm so white. One second. Shit. I'm even white now. I'm like Casper. That's better. <laughs> right, so I just finished breakfast. I'm about to get ready. In about half an hour, my mate Dan's picking me up to go to Ironworks in Birmingham to kill a workout. I'm actually really excited to train with him because we haven't trained together for a while now. And there was a period about a year ago where we trained together all the time. So I'm looking forward to that. I think we're training legs, which I'm excited about. Got my stuff ready. Watching UFC, it's all pretty hyped up anyway. Conor McGregor fight, it's all going off. Right, and then uh, when the adverts come on, quitting into the shop, spent 60 quid on food. Yeah. Sound. And Walker wouldn't make a pot noodle for me. Couldn't believe it, felt betrayed, I did. And, uh, and then Bob started wrestling with him and stuff. And then for whatever reason, I got involved. So I choked him out and he fell onto the sofa and I didn't want to lose, so I kept holding his neck. <laughs> and I fell with him and I fucking smashed my face off the wall and the sofa. And it like, it just opened my head up. Then obviously I saw loads of blood and a bit of skin on my mate's back and I thought, <laughs> fuck, a bit worse than that, man. Damn badminton. Never changes, mate. <laughs> what do you mean? Never, never changes. changes. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to Ironworks now. And he's just showing me this picture about what, what he woke up like in the morning. My legs are dead. If he doesn't lift it, he's dropping it. Right guys, just got back from my workout with Dan. Quickly wanted to just raise a point and talk about something that I've been learning about over the past few days. And this is about posture. I read an article a few days ago about how we think that, you know, if we're feeling kind of depressed, our posture is going to be like drooped down and we're going to be quite sad. But that's actually, that's actually wrong. Our attitude is actually a representation of our posture and not the other way around like most people think. So if you're 
spending most of your day like drooped over and you know kind of lazy looking and kind of sad looking that's actually going to affect your mood and like we don't want that we that's not what you want you want to be you want to be motivated you want to be you want to have a kill, you want to have killer instincts all day you want to make you want to be making your life better every single day with everything that you do so a good tip that i've learned now from this article is to think about my posture and naturally pinning my shoulders back it's not a natural position so like don't go too far with it like don't be po like poking your chest out like you just trying chest present yourself well and this will help you in so many aspects of life whether it be going for a job interview meeting someone in the street uh just seeing friends like how your attitude it will it will really affect your attitude and how you react to certain situations in life and how you overview the whole of your life and your situation at the time and really if you apply this to your life like right now say if you're suffering from like depression or you're a bit neuronic and you are feeling kind of sad like you're down about something correct your posture and you might see a difference. I just thought this was really interesting, something called cool to read into, because I honestly thought that our posture was a representation of how we feel, but actually it's the other way around. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I thought it was pretty cool, so yeah. Just got some chicken out for the next three days of prep. Got two chicken breasts in here, two chicken breasts in here, and then a chicken breast right there and there. I should have got out earlier in the week, but I kind of forgot, because I was like, I went to bed real late last night and I woke up quite later on in the day, so I didn't have time. Had things to do, had plans to write, had revision to do, and then I went to the gym with Dan, smashed some legs, and yeah, I just got back. I got myself a Zinger burrito from KFC. They're pretty cool. I mean, it's literally just chicken, rice, and beans. You should never like substitute your real meals with KFC, because obviously, decent chicken, you know, white or brown rice and green vegetables is the way to go, like that's, that's how you do it properly, but I didn't have time and the chicken's frozen right now, so. Unless I want to eat frozen chicken, I'm kind of screwed, so I had to get that. I'm just going through some emails right now, I'm writing some plans out, doing some revision, and I was reading this book that I bought the other day, the one that I was talking about in my last vlog, so that came, so I'm giving that a read. So I was just on the phone to Zach Ainsley, and we were speaking about a business idea, the, something that I've been thinking about over the past few months, and it's to do with a website for myself, and a name for it, and obviously more about my clothing brand, so... That was pretty cool speaking about that because he's got a decent social media following and he's got a good business mind. He's really he's really clever, like he's got a lot of input. Well he had a lot to say and a lot of good ideas to do with the clothing brand and stuff, so it's good to speak to him about that. For now I'm probably just gonna read some more of my book, finish my plans, do some more revision, and that's it for now. Whatever you want, mate, whatever you want. Get the fuck away, man. Yeah. Oi. Oi, now. Oi, now. Alright, so after I finished doing what I was doing at home, I thought I'd come down to the gym, Sarah, to Lewis and Luke. I haven't seen Luke for a few weeks now, so I thought it'd be nice to come and say hey instead of being stuck in the house. I'm the last person in the gym again, so I've got to pack all the weights away. And then after that, I'm probably going to head back, answer some emails, face on Brittany, prep my meals for tomorrow, go to sleep, and start off again tomorrow. I think that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one.